Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're making three dump and go recipes that are super easy to make. So my name is Kristen and every Monday I share an Instant Pot recipe with you guys just to make your Instant Pot recipes a little bit easier. So today I have with me a very special guest. This is my dear friend, Yay. Karen <laughs> Peterson. She has a YouTube channel called? Um, you can find me Karen Peterson. Just search it. Karen Peterson. Now, yeah. Karen is the queen of Instant Pot recipes. Yeah, she, no. <laughs> she's been doing Instant Pot for a long time and she yeah. just recently jumped onto YouTube. So. If you're looking for a new Instant Pot person to follow, go follow Karen Peterson. I'll put a link down below in the description for you guys. The first one that we're making is our Instant Pot chicken sausage and rice. So, are you ready? Sounds really good. I'm excited to eat it. <laughs> I know, I know, it's fun. And I love it because you can just throw it all inside of the freezer bag yes. and then it's just a dump and go. So whether you put it in a freezer bag or inside your Instant Pot, it's, it's the same. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna have you put on there that it cooks for 10 minutes on high pressure. Okay. And then while you do that, I'm gonna start cutting up a chicken, chicken sausages. Now these are the apple chicken sausages. I got these at Walmart. You can find them at Kroger. You can even find them at Costco. So there we go, 10 minutes. And we're good. All sausages <laughs> cut up. Okay, so we have 10 minutes there. Sausages, I think we're ready to go. We can just start dumping okay. everything in. Okay. So you've seen those awesome little stands that you can put your freezer bags in. Do you have any of those? No, but I should get some. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> but it works well if you're doing it with someone else. So Yeah, that's true. Yes. So we, And you know what would be awesome is if, you know, we come together, we do two at the same time, it's not that much more work, and then we both have dinner for our families. That that's actually a really yeah. good idea. Really good idea. All right. Oh thank you. Perfect. Okay, throw all the sausage in. Okay, next we have just one red pepper that we chopped up earlier. Could you use green if you, you like that? You can use green okay. too. I actually, I think it calls for green, but I just yeah, love whatever. red Yeah, whatever. I so do much. too, I like okay. red, but I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Okay, and then one cup of onions. onions. Okay. Okay. All right, then we have about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of tomato paste. Now, I just eyeball things all the time. It's, yeah. That's how I work. That looks about right to okay. me. Okay, <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. And then again, about a teaspoon or so of garlic. Now I use minced garlic out of the jar. Do you like? I like the. Do you I do buy the, the big jar? kind from Costco. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. Nice. If I'm too lazy to like get the garlic press out, I mean it's not that much more work, but just it makes it more convenient. Exactly. Okay, so we have some Cajun. 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 Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasoning. <laughs> We're gonna do about a half teaspoon or so of the seasoning. If you want more, go ahead and add more. You can also add more later when it's done cooking. Okay, now here is the thing that I love is that we're gonna put our rice just right in there and we're gonna freeze that too. So okay. it'll be easy. So we have about a cup and a half of rice. And what kind do you use, jasmine rice? I, yes, this okay. is jasmine rice. It's my most favorite kind. It doesn't seem to stick together as much as regular as long grain. Yes, That's what I've kind of yes, found too. Exactly. Okay. And then we're just going to add two cups of chicken broth um, because we added about a cup and a half of rice. Okay. I like to add about a cup and a fourth of liquid with the rice with every cup of rice. Okay. So, so that we're going to just again, I like to eyeball things. So this container holds four cups. So we're just going to do about half the container. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, then, so zip it up now? Yep, that one's done. Okay. Now, you can just put all this in your Instant Pot and cook it for 10 minutes, or you can do it like we're doing and just putting it in a freezer bag. Now, I, when I make freezer meals, I usually make a few at a time, so I'll mm -hmm. like double or triple this recipe, so I can just throw it in my freezer when I'm done. That's so convenient. A question for you, do you lay them flat to freeze, or do you lay them like this so they'll fit in your Instant Pot? It's true. So. Usually I just lay them flat so okay. I can fit more, but if you are doing it straight from frozen, yeah, is, is that what you okay. do? You well, that's what I was going to say, because like it wouldn't. if you've laid it flat and it froze into a big rectangle, it wouldn't, you'd have to thaw it before you would yeah. cook it. Yeah, so. so I usually stick it in the microwave for like, I don't know, a minute or two. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then it kind of <laughs> reforms the shape. Gotcha. Exactly. Okay, perfect. Okay, it's done with this one. We're Number one is done. Side. Yes. All right. Oh, also, when you are cooking this, if you need a little bit more liquid, if it's all frozen, you're okay to add another like fourth cup, half cup oh, okay. of water or chicken broth, just so it will pressurize 
well. All right, so our next one is Instant Pot Sweet Chili Chicken, and Karen, I'm gonna let you take the lead okay. on this one. So, this one is gonna cook for 25 minutes, okay. so if you wanna add that to the bag. Yes. And we need some chicken breast. Now you can use frozen or thawed, or, it doesn't really mm -hmm, matter. Because mm -hmm. we're gonna freeze, we're gonna freeze it anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, so, a pound of chicken. Yes. All right, maybe I'll hold it for you. Okay, I'm gonna put it in. You wanna add in the chicken? Sure. Okay. So I like to put in the bulky ingredients first. That okay, way everything yeah. else just falls Does through the Does that look like a pound? They're kind of stuck together. Yeah, that okay. looks like about a pound. Okay. And then we're okay. only gonna pour in half of this can of coconut milk. Okay. So this is our this is our liquid. Yeah. And you can save the other half for curry or make two, like we were saying, two uh, of the same recipe. Good idea. Good idea. Okay. And then the sweet chili sauce. Okay. You can find this by the ketchup. And um, it just gives it. it Oh, <laughs> I got some on my nose. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Okay, quarter cup. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna get lime juice. So we're gonna put two teaspoons of lime juice. Of course, you can use fresh, that's always better, but today, for convenience sake, we're just using. Yeah. And actually, I just use it all the time. Oh, really? <laughs> I do. <Okay. laughs> it is easier. It is. It is, it is. And when you're cooking it, it Exactly. It, you can't tell that big of a difference. Right, and mostly because I'm just trying to get my recipes done. And so yes, I and move on with your life. Have a few shortcuts. Yep. Okay, crushed red pepper. We're just going to do a quarter teaspoon, so I'm going to just actually eyeball it. And just do a little pinch, maybe okay, a little yeah. bit more. And if your kids don't like the heat, I would just suggest just leaving that out completely. So. Yep. And then two tablespoons of um, the reduced sodium. Or is it just regular soy sauce? I mean, you could use either one. You'll be fine. Okay. If you're worried about it being too salty, use reduced sodium yeah. soy sauce or just regular. Perfect. Okay, then you can seal that up. Okay. And then you can see we have this bag of stir fried vegetables here. We're gonna add those in after the, this is pressure cooked on the saute mode so that you'll just stir those in and they cook so quick because this food is hot and then the pot's hot and it just cooks super fast. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. And then, okay, so we just mix it all together. That, Okay, that's yeah, good. It's easy. It's nice. really yummy too. Sweet chili chicken. Mm. Okay, <laughs> this one's done. Should yes. we move on to the next one? Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, so our third recipe is kind of like the other one, but just a little bit different. I like to serve this one on salad. And so this one's called our sweet chili chicken salad. So um, because it's frozen, it's frozen chicken, we're gonna cook it for 25 minutes. Okay. If you're using thawed chicken, if you're just putting it right into your Instant Pot, um, you could cook it for about 20 minutes. So, pressure cook, 25 minutes. We're ready to go. Okay. All right, you wanna open up the bag? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna put three chicken breasts in here, so it's a little more chicken this time, because we don't have the vegetables oh, right. like we did in the other one. So, three chicken breasts. Good. So we're gonna do half a cup of the sweet chili sauce. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. If you want to add a little more, you can too. <laughs> and then about a fourth cup, a fourth cup mm -hmm. of soy sauce. Okay, making sure I got this right. And I, I'm just eyeballing it close enough to a fourth a cup. And, and then, then some water, half a cup. Perfect. That one was so easy. I know. That literally took like one minute. <laughs> so I know that people are just like, oh, I could just dump that in myself. You're right. But sometimes it's just easy to not really think about dinner. I'm like, oh yeah, I have one in the freezer. I'm just gonna pull it out and eat it up. Exactly. So. You could make one right now and then say, you know, you have all the ingredients out. You might as well make one for later. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Yep. And I like that we use, I mean, I don't buy sweet chili sauce a ton. Yeah, so now the made. whole bottle's almost Exactly. Used, so, so we could use the two recipes yeah. for that. So. That's a good idea. Anyways. All right, so if you loved these recipes, come over to my channel and we're gonna do, we're tag teaming at my kitchen next time and we're gonna do three more dump and go freezer meals. So I'll put a link below in the description for you so you can find those three freezer meals and tell your friends to check out these freezer meals too. All right, so if you want more dump and go recipes, make sure to check out our awesome freezer meals right here. And I will see you guys on the next one. See you later. Bye-bye.